Welcome to the Whiskey. I'm Josh. I'm Keith. And I'm Eric. And this is the return of Clearance Day. To go over what Clearance Day is, is I get a bottle, or one of us gets a bottle, for uh, for $30 or under, or at this point, $35 and under. And we got it because it's on clearance. And usually it costs a lot more than that. Or, or a lot more, a decent, decent amount more, more than we'd be willing to say it can just be on our show. And so what we do is we take that bottle and then we pour it and we compare it to a bottle that is actually in our price range regularly. We see which one the guys prefer. This is blind. They don't know which one's which. I do. And they're going to tell me which one they prefer. And I'll then tell them how much the actual budget bottle costs. And they will tell me how much more they'd be willing to pay for the bottle they preferred. Maybe that bottle was already the bottle that was in our price range, but we'll see. And hopefully this will give you some idea on whether or not these more expensive bottles are actually worth it. Are you going to tell us the genre? No. I'm not going to tell you anything about, the, about them at all. Okay. Not it's Irish. Here. So we'll start with glass one. And I'll tell you on screen what this is. I don't think it's Irish. I'm smelling candy corn. Have I lost my mind? Uh, I'm getting like Halloween candy corn. You know, that same... Gross. Well, let's go ahead and take a sip then. Maybe that will help you guys. Oh, so sweet. That is sweet. Like candy corn. Oh, that is too sweet. What's the note I'm getting? Sugar. <laughs> I mean, um, sugar. No, there's something that tastes like... It's like an herbally spicy note. Are you guys liking it or you're not liking it? I'm liking it. See, that's the thing. I don't know. I'm liking it. I think it's just a little bit too sweet for my taste. Like, I would want to add some bitters to tame it down. I do think this sure. would be delicious with some bitters. All right, let's move on to the last two. Mmm. I'm getting like a sour wine. Like, almost turning to vinegar. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. I'm getting some sort of very smelly wood. Like cedar. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah, cedar. No, cypress. Like cypress mulch. Very fragrant wood. I took a sip and wow, was that some like, I'm just licking a tree, but in a good way. Ooh, that's it's grassy. Up. Herbally. Definitely a plant. Like this is as close to the, the natural eucalyptus. No, this is a tree. It's a woody plant. I don't know if eucalyptus is woody. It is. Is it? Koalas eat eucalyptus leaves off the eucalyptus tree. But is it the eucalyptus leaf you're getting, or is it the tree you're getting? This is woody. At this point, I would like you guys to go back and forth and decide which one you prefer. I'll say that I try to get, theoretically, similar whiskeys, but I don't always hit the mark. These are two completely different tastes. I think they're they in the same are, neighborhood. I wouldn't kick either one to the curb. Oh, I'm definitely not kicking either one to the curb. I do think there's one I prefer then. So they've gone ahead and decided which ones they prefer. Eric, which one do you prefer? I prefer glass number two. Keith. I actually prefer glass number two. I want to tell you that the actual budget bottle, whatever it is, maybe glass one, maybe glass two, mm -hmm. the actual budget bottle costs $30. Would you be willing to pay $30 for either of these bottles? I'd be willing to pay $30 for one of these bottles. For one. Yeah. How much more would you be willing to pay, if any, for the bottle you prefer? Assuming... It's not. The I ball. would be willing to pay thirty dollars for the ball I prefer. I'd be willing to pay twenty five for the ball I don't prefer. So I'm going to go. I'd be willing to pay five dollars more for the bottle I prefer. If but it's not, but not more than thirty. So zero. Right. So thirty is your limit. Thirty is my limit. I'm not paying more than thirty for either of right. these bottles. Okay. I'm going to say I'd be willing to pay thirty two for the one I prefer. So what I'm going to start with is telling you which bottle was. The budget bottle. I'm not going to reveal to you which glass it was. I'm going to tell you which bottle it was. The budget bottle for today was Shackleton's. Okay. It's a three dollar bottle. <laughs> I know you really like this bottle. Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm not sure how you feel about this bottle. The whiskey itself, I think, is a twenty five dollar whiskey. The bottle adds to it enough that I'd be willing to pay thirty dollars for it. It's a pretty bottle. I'll look it's a that. pretty bottle. It's a gorgeous <laughs> bottle. It's a pretty bottle. So this is a blended malt scotch. Now Shackleton's was in glass one. Hmm. So today's clearance bottle was Mossburn Blended Malt Scotch Whiskey Island Edition. That's a pretty bottle. So this is a blended malt scotch. It is 92 proof. So significantly more than this 80 proof. In clearance, I paid $28 for this bottle. Okay. I would absolutely be, be willing to buy it for the clearance price. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about the actual price, though. Okay. Like the re manufacturer suggested retail price. What is that? 
approximately $49. Wow. No, thank you. There are so many things I'd buy. Yeah, at $50, I'd stick to it. Some of the things you buy over this? Yeah. Can you give me an example? Shackleton's. <laughs> I would buy Shackleton's over this. But you just yeah. said you preferred this. I understand that. But for $19 difference, I'll stick. I'll to buy shot. this and save my $19 to buy something. Almost else. two other $10 bottles. At, at the retail price, I I'm at, gonna struggle. I at 50. Um no. I am hesitant. I think that I I'm hesitant to say that it's not worth 50. Mostly because we obviously live in our 30, I would, 35 and under, 30 and under price range. I don't know 49 for me. I say I think I would be willing to personally go to 40. I think 40 is my limit. Knowing now what it is, I think I'd be willing to pay 40 for it. I think I'd stretch to 35, maybe 38. I'd be willing, I'd, I would be willing to go 40. I will say, I really enjoyed this though. I, this is my preferred too. But this is me buying a bottle for my birthday or for myself for Christmas. Something this special. is me buying myself something special. Whereas this is a regular available. This is me, well, I don't to say regular available. It's available. For, this is more of a, okay, I'm gonna go out and buy a bottle because right. I need to replenish for me, my stock. I'm looking at 10 to $20 more. I could have a very good art bag. I could have a very good uh, log fill in. Well, and that, that's kind of where I'm going is that, so yeah. just See, my, that's the thing. If I'm going this high, I, I might as well, I go might the as next, well jump to a little go bit the more next step. and get something that I really want. So here, yeah. here, here's kind of where I'm at. It's like, so we BC is $43. So our big 10 is 51, 99, 52. So yeah. Yeah. For $3 more. No, see, and that, that's where I'm going is that I don't think I personally, who isn't a fan of a strong beat, like I like our bag, but I don't think, I don't, I personally think I, I as someone who is mm -hmm. not a bogger, if you will, would prefer this over our bag 10. Right. I mean, those are different. Those are very well, different. This is beaded. beaded. This is beaded. Okay. They're both beaded. They have both have peat in them. Mm -hmm. This is not, but this is more island peat, like Talisker, Highland mm -hmm. Park, et cetera, than it is like Isla peat, where it's just, that's all there is is peat. And that's more where my, I live is in that lightly peated maritime. See, I, I am going the other way. For three dollars more, I can get that. I'm going to go with that. Y you're right. This is probably a better deal. For nineteen dollars more, I'll save myself the nineteen dollars. I'll buy this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for the same price, I'm getting the the stuff that's sitting on the shelf next to it. We like, used to for forty three. Yeah, yeah. At forty nine, I'm gonna, probably not buying a scotch. I'm probably buying. I'm buying a very solid bourbon for $49. Either way, I look forward to enjoying this myself. And I'm definitely happy with my purchase of $20. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. $20, that's a steal. But I think at the end of the day, what we're saying is that, are we really convinced that at the $19 difference between these two, is it actually worth it? Probably not. But I think that also depends on, It's gonna, I think in this case, it's really gonna depend on your palate and what you prefer. Anyways, let us know what you think of these bottles. And until next time, may the winds of fortune sail you. May you sail a gentle sea. May it always be the other guy who says, this, this drink's, drink's on me. me.